A newly released federal report shows homelessness in Rhode Island and across the country has skyrocketed. Those people are either living in a shelter or unsheltered, like living out of a car. Target 12 investigator Sarah Grinelli spoke with the Rhode Island Coalition to end homelessness about what's behind the trend. Sarah? Well, Kim, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development released its annual homelessness assessment report earlier this month. And in Rhode Island, homelessness has increased more than 70% in the past four years. The homeless population in Rhode Island has climbed in recent years, with more than 1,800 people homeless in 2023. We've seen a trend like over the past five years of uh, unsheltered homelessness rising. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development released their annual homeless assessment report earlier this month. It's based on data gathered in January. You can see since 2019, the homeless population has grown from 1,055 people to more than 1,800 in 2023. Juan Espinoza from the Rhode Island Coalition to End Homelessness says there are many contributing factors. Housing prices are at an all-time high, but also our housing supply in Rhode Island is particularly short. There's not a lot of new construction being built and all that kind of creates a perfect storm. The data also breaks out those who are unsheltered. Those are people who are living in cars, parks, sidewalks, and abandoned buildings. Here you can see it has increased from 2018 where 51 people were unsheltered to 334 people. The Governor McKee administration announced a winter strategy plan to increase shelter beds 30% compared to last year. Espinoza says it's a step in the right direction. 30% I think is a good start. Um, I do think we need to do more, but I also think on, on the other end of the spectrum, we do need to create more affordable housing. However, Rhode Island is not alone in the struggle with the homeless crisis regionally. A Target 12 analysis shows in the six New England states, Vermont has the highest rate of homelessness. Rhode Island ranks second lowest after Connecticut. Espinoza says navigating through this crisis starts with keeping people from entering homelessness in the first place. We're seeing a lot is Rhode Islanders who are leaving shelter aren't going into an affordable housing unit. We don't know necessarily where they're going. And in some cases, they're going back on the street. And so the next survey from the federal government and local advocacy groups are expected to be taken in January. Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.